Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. The first day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Jang! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, round one is underway. As many of you know, this fighter has... Whoa! Lands a big right hand early. Oh! Oh! You can't never... You can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Oh. That's over. Oh. oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making teams. That's it. That'll do it. What a fight. That was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. Here's Bruce 
buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Zang! Well, there she is.